All right, well, as you can see, we've made some modifications here. We got the little cable clips. I actually like these. They're the flat ones, and then they hold the Bowden tube. Motor cover, decoration. Fan cover shroud, decoration. <laughs> X cover, decoration. Clips are probably the only ones functional up there. Drop you down a little bit. Slide the bed up. Slide the bed back a little. You can see we got these little filament strips in here. We also had them up top. Um, they are just these. I printed out. Let's see if you can see the profile. There we go. And then they just clip in. That's all these are. Again, decoration. Finally, got a filament cooler to print. And print nice. A little stringing in there I didn't realize. Have not installed as yet as it just finished. But the most important thing is a filament roller holder. So you can see I had to print this out to fix the Creality filament holder that they have. Show you how that works. Not that way. And it fits in there like that. No, I have not put the bearings in it yet. And then the filament roll will fit upon that. The nice thing about this, however, instead of just being a static piece that will slide over, and it is smooth enough, it's, well, you, you've got 3D printed parts, it'll fit, or slide. But we're going to put bearings in here. And you can see that those are down too low. We had a hole in it. I'm going to show you with a pencil. The pin I printed for it is going to be a one-time fit. When it goes in, it locks itself in. So the pin will go in where this pencil is. And then the rollers are here. I know you can't see them spinning. Maybe you can hear them. <laughs> but, uh, We'll be using this pin instead. It'll go all the way in that hole. And it'll flatten out like that. And it'll hold those bearings. Also, one other thing. Oh, you can't see it. Maybe. I can get the light right. Oh, now you can see it. Again, just decoration. But the roller itself will definitely make that filament spool roll better. Less friction. And anything not pulling on the extruder motor just makes it easier to run. One more thing you may not have seen. I've got to drop you down though. We were talking about these earlier. And that's the feats. As you can see now, we have about three inches of room underneath here. Plenty of airflow. Nothing's going to get hot on that power supply or motherboard. If I do have issues, if I'm doing extended long prints, you know, for three, four days, and I find that it's getting hot, I can definitely add some 120 fans in there, just like I did on my Chiron printer. And it would just be a fan like this. A 120. 12 volt fan. I will not use the power supply to power it. I'd get an external one like I did on my Chiron. If I need it, and only if it's getting hot, I'm not going to force it to go through it. But right now I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know if you can see them, there's some, um, some people would call it zitting. I actually did that intentional so that when this goes in, it stays in. Suppose I could have glued it, but I decided to make grippies built into it. Let's see if I can get it to line up. Got the first one. Oops. Went a little too far. Check that 
up. Oh, I guess I didn't have to do too much. And now we got those in there. There's just a little bit there I need to tap in. And you can see it's in there, oh, not quite flat, a little bit more. But either way, that is not going to back out on its own. Let's put him back over here. Those little teeth lined up. Put the filament roller on. Now this is also going to lift it up a little bit. Oh, speaking of lifting it up a bit. I'm going to have to move you so you can see that. And the old filament rollers in the way. The feet that were on the bottom of these, those little rubbers, I put back here. I didn't think I'm going to print one, but uh, the uh, filament holder, I didn't think that I needed, yeah. With no support on that back leg, just hanging off in space, it was kind of bending. So for now, those are actually the perfect height. Two of them laying flat, two on end. But I'm going to print a, a piece to, to fit in there. That was the only mistake I made. Well, no, not the only one. The first one. And then the only thing left at the moment is to print this out, and, or take this apart and bolt this in. And then that'll give us cooling all the way around the part instead of just this side. So that way other parts that we go to print will turn out much, much better. It's actually doing really good as is. But any little improvement's always good, especially in the cooling part, with PLA. Now with ABS and PETG, that's probably not such a big deal. But PLA, which 90% of the time, that's what I'm printing. And then, just in case you didn't see the top, kind of a down view of it, we got it up here, it's also in the back, um, yeah, there you can kind of see it, all three tracks. Now here you can see where the filament spool holder is, couldn't put it all the way across, but I got a little piece in there. Like I said, kind of doing a blue theme this time. I think I've managed to get that across. My Chiron's black and yellow. It's got a lot of yellow. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to show you. So on the side here, I don't know if I'm going to or not, but if I wanted to, I could definitely print out more of these. They just pop in. There we go. And I, you know, I had to print it the whole length. It's not really needed. It's just decoration. Um, I definitely went all out on my Charon, but I've had that one for a couple years. I modified a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see all that and appreciate everything. Everything in yellow, except for these. Those are stock. Everything else. That's yellow, I print it. Probably over the next few months to a year, I'll be doing just as much to this one. Just wanted to share where we were at the moment. And still printing great. Not using the power switch. I bypassed it as you saw in my first video. Uh, only thing I have found... The bed seems to be releasing better the more I use it. Don't know why exactly. Um, 
Now, it doesn't let go when it reaches like 30 degrees Celsius like it does on my Chion. My Chion, it just pops off at 30 degrees. This one takes an hour or so. And then you'll hear it start popping and creaking and let go. I think it's just because this is a much rougher texture. I think it's too rough, honestly. If I could find an old Chiron bed and cut it to fit that, I would definitely do it. Um, in a heartbeat. I mean, this bed is good. I mean, they stick. If you got problems sticking, this bed works. Your parts are going to stick. Getting them off? They like they like to hold on. That that is a definite yes. They they like to stay on that print bed. That's all I got at this point. Um, had a couple extras of these. I'm not sure. Oh, I know what these are for. Underneath the LCD tray, there's a couple of tracks, just like here. I'm going to put these in. This space that you can't see. This space here. It's just black. I don't know what to do with that. Thought about stickers? Eh. That seems kind of how you're doing to me. I don't know. We've got to come up with something. I don't know what. We'll come up with something for that. Stickers probably won't work for me. It's just a whole lot of meh. not sure what I'm gonna do this is a sticker I didn't realize that I thought it was engraved in you know like they carved out the black um, anodizing on the aluminum but no that is a sticker we will have to figure out something there is a print out there on Thingiverse that's supposed to fit this um, the one I downloaded was a little narrow it didn't fit all the way across Plus the little, the little tiny slots that they would fit in are so tiny. I mean, even these that I did, they're much bigger. But they're so thin. You can see this one's actually broke. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. And these are a quarter of the size of those. So they're very, very fragile. I don't think they'd really last, to be honest. Even if I had the printed them correctly. The ones I found were a little narrow. Obviously, I could stretch it out like 2% or 5%, whatever it might be. I also looked into the idea, and I didn't think of it on my Chiron, but it would also work there. This belt is in far enough that you really could put these up here. Not that you can see that. You could put them on top as well. I mean, you'd want to go all the way across with it, but if you wanted to, um, the belt shouldn't rub on it. The belt is way below. And then these clips, you can see that one back there pretty good. Those are the ones I went with. And get him to focus. Kind of. There you go. And they just kind of Go over the wire, it's a little cutout. And then the Bowden tube fits right into it. Now I did these in PLA, so they're you gotta be careful when you snap them on there onto the Bowden tube. But uh, mine actually came out pretty good. I thought I had broke one, but and I printed a spare. I didn't. I think three of them's all you really need. <laughs> Might even be overkill. And at this point, I'm just rambling. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Got the new spool. Oh, that spins nice. Much, much easier. That'll make your extruder up here last a little bit longer because it won't be pulling so hard. There won't be as much torque on this filament going in. Be nice and easy. That's all I got for now. Thank you. What do you want?